I kind of lost part of my tripod, so if the camera falls at any given moment, that's why. What's up, you guys? Jasmine here. Welcome to one of the second. Is it the second Wolf Watch Wednesday of 2016? I'm Jasmine. I already said that. So not this week, but last week was the premiere of 5B, and it was epic. It was dark. It was sad. It was intense. It was awesome. It was intense. It was great. I loved it. Now you might be thinking, why are you talking about the premiere now? Well, I do my video every other week, so not only am I talking about the premiere, I'm talking about last night's episode as well, because that was yesterday. Ha! So in the very first episode, we already have our issues because, as we all know, that, uh, you know, Theo is trying to build his pack, Scott is still alone in the premiere, um, which is dumb, stupid, um, but, you know, there's all this stuff that went on in the premiere that, like, just freaked me out, like, the whole Papa Stalinsky thing, that was an emotional roller coaster. like, that whole episode was about trying to find the chimera that could help his dad, and, like, I don't know, it just freaked me out, it was emotional, I cried a bit, not gonna lie, Christopher Argent came back, yes, um, and besides Christopher Argent returning, his dad returned, we saw him last night, devour, um, some some wolf spain it was kind of gross because he, he kind of it was gross it was nasty but gerard is back we got two argents back and and this has nothing to do with the two episodes that i'm talking about but crystal reed is coming back and not as allison argent may she rest in peace but as a totally different character that has to deal with argents and i'm totally stoked because argents everywhere the argent family is just basically something that's been like dead for the past couple of seasons like the argent who it's more like Stalinsky, McCall, Martin, other people, yeah. No origins. So I'm pretty stoked to have Gerard and Chris back and then the whole thing with Crystal Reed's character. Anyways, back on track of talking about the episodes. Um, last night's episode was totally weird to me because, like, I don't know, Scott was basically, he's trying to put everything back together. Like, mostly his pack, but he's trying to fix everything in Beacon Hills. And, like, he's doing all the stuff. Last night's episode was really just an episode of, like, trying to get everybody to forgive one another. And Scott and Styles making up felt it right in here. Felt it. And then you had Liam worrying about Hayden. And then we got a big old wolf, the uh, Labet de Jevedon, the Beast of Jevedon. That's great. Yeah, I love big monsters. Totes. No, I don't. I hate them because that thing was freaking weird. It was even more terrifying than Peter as the Alpha in Season 1. It was just crazy talk. Alright, I need to stop rambling and share my actual thoughts on these past two episodes, okay? Here we go. I think the past two episodes of this season have been really good and it, it's flowing. It's, it's flowing nicely. I mean, 5A flowed nicely as well, but I think this one's flowing really nicely and it's setting up a really good story, setting up the really good plot, setting up all this great stuff. I'm excited to see what's going to happen in the rest of the season. Um, I'm, ex I'm excited to see what's going to go on with Kira because we saw her at the end of last night's episode. I'm really stoked for that because, well, it's Kira and she kind of went away last season and that broke my heart. I'm also really excited to see what's going to go on with Lydia while she's in Eichen House. Because um, what we saw last night is basically it's her outside of her body. Like, I guess it's her conscience or whatever. And she's with Meredith. Meredith, who was a psychopathic benefactor, which I still don't understand. Uh, she was a benefactor and she, like, died and all this other crap. Anyways, um, I'm excited to see how that's going to happen because she's going to be learning stuff while unconscious. And if someone can learn something while unconscious, I don't understand why I can't get a text back. Um, and then Liam and Hayden, I don't know how their love story is going to play out, saying that she's basically a zombie, and he's not. I'm just looking at all the chimeras as being zombies. They were literally dead. So, um, yeah, they're zombies. So, uh, I gotta go. Gotta skedaddle. 
because I don't mess with zombies. Scott in his pack, I'm a little nervous to see how that's going to play out because we have Malia in one corner trying to find her mother to kill her. And she's not telling Scott, so I don't know how Scott's going to handle Malia doing this. Um, I feel like he's eventually going to find out, probably like halfway through 5B. And then, um, Styles, we can already see that they're kind of starting to rekindle their relationship, which I'm so happy about because they need to be best friends. They need to not be mad at each other, you know. Um, Kira, I'm, I need Kira and Scott to not make up only as like, as a pack, like coming back to the pack, but like romantically, I need them, I need there to be some DTR that goes on because I don't know if I'm the only one, but I'm confused as into where their relationship stands. Are they still together? Are they not? I don't know. I don't know why, but I'm confused about that. And then there's Liam. I feel like Liam's just going to be a wuss, and he's going to wait for Scott to come to him before he apologizes. And lastly, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, no. That's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to talk about. Um, tell me down below in the comments what have been some of your favorite moments from 5B so far, so from, so from the past two episodes. Do not forget to give this video a big ol' thumbs up because it'll make my heart happy. And a happy heart makes a happy jasmine. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel for two new videos every other week, even though I am slacking. I, am, I feel like I always say this, but I am slacking, and I'm going to get that fixed right the heck up. ASAP. Yes. That's all for this week's video. I will see you all on Saturday, which is going to be a totally different video, something I've never done before, and I hope you guys are here to watch it. Peace out.